this is Disney's Tarzan, the video game. It's a game where you play as young boy Tarzan, adult Tarzan, and also Tarzan's pet monkey. Not to be confused with Michael Jackson's pet monkey, or that monkey in that Clint Eastwood movie where he was a truck driver or something. Now don't confuse the young boy Tarzan from this game with Tarzan Boy, the song about a sexually androgynous singer by Baltimora. That's a strange reference. And if you get that, congratulations to you. You watch a lot of music videos on the YouTubes. It's a pretty good platformer. It's like 3D, although it doesn't really take advantage of 3D graphics because most of the time you're just running from left to right like your standard 2D platformer. It's actually a lot like um, Crash Bandicoot in that regard, in the levels where you run from left to right. Like you can tell everything is 3D once in a while. He moves in three dimensions, but mostly you're just running to the right. This game actually borrows a lot from Crash Bandicoot. There's even like a level where you run away from a boulder. Well, I mean, you don't run away from a boulder. In this game, you're actually running from a stampede. So maybe it's kind of borrowing from the Lion King. That definitely had a stampede level. But it feels a lot more like the boulder chase from Crash Bandicoot games, so I guess it's taken a little bit of both. That's the perfect explanation of Disney's Tarzan. It's a mixture of Crash Bandicoot and The Lion King. It's Crash Bandicoot meets The Lion King. And ironically, there are no lions or bandicoots in this game. And that's extra ironic, because this is a game in the jungle. You would think there would be lions. There is like a tiger or a panther or something. A sex panther that adult Tarzan fights. I guess it's like a boss fight. Why doesn't he fight like a m monkey? Monkeys don't use spears or apes, whatever the hell raised him. The the big monkeys. Monkeys don't run around with spears, Tarzan. If you want, if you want to really be included into the ape community, put that spear down and start biting and clawing at at that tiger thing, at that cat monster. I don't know what kind of cat that is. David Attenborough would be ashamed. I'm not even... I mean, I can go on Google and look up that cat in 30 seconds. But let me let me make it clear. It's not that I don't know. I don't know and I don't care. Moving on. Tarzan attacks the various innocent animals in this um, jungle forest place by throwing fruit at them or stabbing them either with a tiny little knife that he found or just a giant spear. And he totally doesn't mind just murdering all the animals in this forest. PETA would not be happy with this game. I mean, some animals are definitely fighting you, but some of the animals, I feel like Tarzan is invading their home. Like, some of these animals are just sitting there, and Tarzan comes up near them. It's like the equivalent of someone breaking into your home late at night. He's basically uh, doing a home invasion and then killing the homeowner. These animals, most of the time, are just attacking him because they're territorial, as animals should be. You have some naked, hairless ape running at you. What are you supposed to do? Of course you're going to fight them. Tarzan in this game is a tall asshole. You play as the bad guy. That's the Shamalama twist. You play as the bad guy in this game. You know, I always wondered, what's the difference between Tarzan and Mowgli? Like... Which one came first? That's what I want to know. Which one's the ripoff? You know what? New analogy. This game is like a mixture of Mowgli, a mixture of Crash Bandicoot, and a mixture of The Lion King for the Sega Genesis. It's a lot like a lot of other games as well. Uh, one thing I don't really like about the game is the attacks take some time to execute. Like, there's a wind-up when he uses his main attack, which is throwing fruit. First he has to take the fruit out, then he winds it out. And it, this basically means the, there's a difference between when you press the attack button and when the attack sh actually happens. There's like a delay, which sucks in a game like this. It's supposed to be an action-adventure platforming game, and there's a delay to the actual main attack, so it kind of sucks to fight the enemies. Uh, the graphics, though, are really good. I, I really love the graphics in this game, but I I'm not a big fan of the uh, combat. I guess this is mostly a platforming game, so the combat, it, you know, I, w I wouldn't expect it to be stellar, but it would be nice if the combat was a little bit better. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But Stan, you ask, 
How does this compare to other games that are kind of like Tarzan or whatever? Well, let's compare it to a few. I mean, I already talked about Crash Bandicoot. Let's take, like, Crash Bandicoot 1 and see how Tarzan... Disney's Tarzan! I keep forgetting to put Disney's in there! It's Disney's Tarzan! Don't you dare go out and look for a game that's just Tarzan! This is a Disney game. How, how does this compare to a Crash Bandicoot? Let's say the first one. Um, this game is like not as good as Crash. N nothing about this game is as good as Crash. I mean, Crash had better graphics, better music, uh, better setting, better level designs. It handled much better. Uh, everything in Crash Bandicoot was fun. This is like a gimped version of Crash Bandicoot. And that's not really to say Disney's Tarzan is a bad game, because it's not. It's an okay to decent game. It's just that that Crash Bandicoot was the real deal Holyfield. That was like the mecca of of uh, platforming games. Colorful action-adventure kitty platforming games. That was one of the best. Uh, this one, eh, not so much. How does Disney's Tarzan compare to, say, The Lion King for the Sega Genesis? Well, that game had revolutionary graphics. I mean, The Lion King on the Sega Genesis for the time easily could have had the best graphics for the time. It was just groundbreaking graphics. This game doesn't have groundbreaking graphics for the time. Um, while Disney's Tarzan has good graphics, they're not groundbreaking by any stretch of the imagination. They're just colorful and nice. So just in terms of that, The Lion King beats out Tarzan. I, I think there's a few places where Tarzan is better. Ma mainly one place, really. Overall, uh, The Lion King for the Genesis is a better game. It's more groundbreaking. There's just more memorable uh, levels. Like, you actually remember things from the game because they kind of correlate with things from the movie. I don't really remember much of this game being in the movie, aside from a few levels, like when all the apes, like, attack the camp or whatever. But most of it is just generic scenes from the movie that, like kind of look like the movie, but it doesn't really remind you of the movie in any way. The one thing I think this game is better at than The Lion King is the platforming. The platforming in this game is fairly smooth. Like, you swing from vines, you jump from uh, one platform to another, uh, and, and you can do this, like, fast. Like, if there aren't that many enemies on screen, you can run super fast and high-octane uh, speed uh, to the right, kind of like Sonic, or at least the earlier levels in Sonic, where there aren't a lot of obstacles. In The Lion King, you really couldn't do that. You had to watch your step, because it was way too hard. This game can be hard, Hard, uh, but mostly it's hard when you're fighting enemies. Platforming isn't that hard in this game. The last game I want to compare to Disney's Tarzan is Awesome Possum. It's a very similar game. It's like a colorful kids game that's a platformer where you run to the right. Awesome Possum was made on the Sega Genesis, so the graphics are obviously going to be worse. But what else is worse? Well, Honestly, this game is better than Awesome Possum in every way. Awesome Possum had, like, horrible music. It had awful, annoying voice acting. It was broken in a lot of aspects. The levels looked ugly. Awesome Possum was just an awful video game. It was a bad platforming game. The jumping was crap. I mean, everything. Or pr almost everything in the game was crap. Yeah, on the other side, uh, Disney's Tarzan, a lot of things in this game are good to kind of really good. Although a lot of the things in the game are also kind of average. But overall, Disney's Tarzan is a million times better than Awesome Possum, even though they're very similar in the style of gameplay. One kind of lazy thing about Disney's Tarzan is they didn't create any kind of CGI. And you see a lot of Disney games do this. Uh, a lot of like uh, games based on... Uh, blockbuster cartoons that came out in theaters like uh, Disney's Treasure Planet did the same thing where the cutscenes of the game are just snippets from the actual cartoon movie uh, I mean it's cool to look at cutscenes from the movie but you could just rent the movie for that you know you you would think uh, because they have this uh, huge uh, blockbuster trademark character and I'm sure they had a lot of money they could have hired some people to actually create cutscenes specifically for the game but they just decided it would be much easier just to use parts of the movie so it, I always find that kind of lazy even though it's acceptable I, I just think it's lazy I think if you're making a game just make the whole game cutscenes and all Overall, I think this is a decent platform. It's not going to win any awards. And 
you're not gonna remember playing this. It's not as good as the actual movie, which is pretty memorable. If you saw this while growing up, I'm sure uh, the Tarzan uh, movie is part of your childhood, but the game, eh, you probably forgot about it. Just like you're gonna forget about this review in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more classic game reviews. Goodbye, my friend.